Hey, Manna Church. Welcome back to part four of this week's Morning Manna. Again, let's review. Jesus instructs each of his followers to watch out that no one deceives you. He calls each of us to identify and then resist familiar areas in our lives which can be obstacles to our knowing the truth. Previously, we addressed the obstacles of ignorance and our hearts. Today, we will address the obstacle of disobedience. Now, on the face of it, this might not be the most comfortable topic, but please stay with me. In John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32, Jesus says that if we hold to his teaching, then we're really his disciples, then we will know the truth, and the truth will set us free. It's not enough to assent to Jesus' teachings. Jesus wants us to be his disciples, to put his words into practice, to persevere in obedience until we know and experience the truth the way Jesus intends. When we persevere in putting his words into practice, his truth becomes a real part of who we are, resulting in true freedom and a closer relationship with him. Now God says that it's a deception to think that merely listening to or reading scripture makes the truth real in our lives. James chapter 1 verse 22 puts the matter very plainly. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Disobedience to God's word carries with it its own set of self-justifications and excuses. I know what God's word says, but God knows my heart. I'll obey when I'm ready. It's really not that bad, but it makes me so happy. Ah, the Bible is old and outdated. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 13 tells us that our hearts can be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Without yielding our ways to his ways, without putting into practice God's word, we set ourselves up for deception. And that is precisely what Jesus wants us to avoid. What area of your life is the Holy Spirit currently shining his light on? What portions of scripture are challenging how you are currently living? Find out what God has to say about that area. Surrender that area to him and take simple steps of obedience. Don't worry about doing things perfectly. Obedience is not the same thing as getting everything right. Just get the train out of the station and keep going. You'll be amazed how the truth of God's word will come alive to you and in you. See you tomorrow when we address yet another area of our lives that can deceive us, our traditions. <laughs>